Hello there, Ivar by Ivar's Fly Workshop and today we are going to tie a fly which is called The Killer, Black Killer by Thor Nielsen. But Thor Nielsen is an angler here in Estland, quite famous and he has many, many good flies and many good patterns which I will be tying this uh, winter. Uh, the Killer is like a nymph and it's uh, imitating some creature that lives on the bottom actually. But <clears throat> to uh, start, we use our black thread and attach that to the shank. Then we will take this white piece of Aurora yarn, attach that to the hook as well. And that white uh, piece is a, um, <clears throat> it's, um, it's the back of the fly actually, you'll see that. Then you take a silver wire and type that down like this. This. Then comes the body material, which is black wool or black aurora yarn. It actually doesn't matter which it is, as long as it's uh, black, it, it will be doing its job. On the other hand, you can tie this fly with variation of body, body colors both red and blue, pink, just yeah, brown, just play, play around with the colors, I would say. So now the uh, body is ready to form. We will form the body by uh, wrapping the uh, Aurora yarn around it. So that's how we form the body of the fly. Make sure the bead is kind of in place. You can turn that like to get the front body as you prefer. Get it in shape and then you'll just take a few wraps around it and then fasten and lock down the yarn. And you'll do that with a few tight wraps and then you'll sniff off the tag end and uh, this fly is a great option for for uh, especially fishing for arctic char like in cold waters like in the lake of Thingvellir and and other places as well you only fold the uh, fold the white aurora yarn over the body up from the bottom of the fly in front and make sure it's in the top of the top of the body Tie it down like this and trim off the tag end. And next step is the wire. And the wire is like a crucial thing for the fly because it held, holds everything in place. And it must be like wrapped on as tight as you can. And it's going to be like, like we say, no, in no trouble for when you have it there. And we'll snip that end off and the last step of the fly is that we are going to build up like a little, you know, like a platform for the head and then we are going to take a red cloak right and form like a tiny little neck on it with it. It's not big, it's just to give it like a little hint of a hot spot. Something like that, and then we will just tie down the um, uh, the uh, culprit and make sure it's in place. And you will snip off the tag ends, and that's about it. Then the rest of the job is, of course, whip finishing the fly and give it a whip finish a couple of times and coat it with warnish. It's a neat fly, it's a really good fly actually, and uh, if you're fishing in Iceland for trout or, or, or arctic char, uh, the killer in size from 10 
and down to 16 even. I would say just just in case keep a couple of them in your box at least even more. And it's yeah you fish with the fly quite deep that's why we have the bead on it and you do the to the strip you do that very slowly. It's the best best ways to get it get it get some good results. Then we'll just yeah do the paint job, give it a little varnish on the thread and on the knot, and that's about it. The fly is then ready. I will just say thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.